Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to a Random Lifestyle Vlog. Today I have another advent calendar to unbox with you and this is the MAC advent calendar. It's very kind of like flashy and sparkly but look at that. This is how it opens and it has this like a really nice uh, kind of decoration here. I like it. I like this idea. So to be honest, in the recent years, I did not really feel that tempted to buy an advent calendar from MAC because it always seemed to me like they put lots of like unsold products inside. Like we always had the same colors, the same shades, like lots of minis and stuff like that. And this year, seeing like some spoilers, it looks like it's going to be a little bit different. So I have really high hopes towards it. And let me tell you, I have lots of uh, MAC lipsticks. So I really hope I'll be able to find some shades here that I don't have yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our day number one, which is over here. The good thing about the seven calendar is that it's not heavy, so it's quite easy to pick it up. By the way, these are not boxes, these are kind of like little drawers. So our first product is wrapped in this kind of like black tissue, let's see. Ooh, okay, that started really well. So the first product we have is a black stack mascara. If I'm to be like completely honest with you guys, I've never tried this mascara before, so that is quite exciting. Full size mascara, good. Okay, day number two. So this is what we have here. This is lip gloss in shade O oh Baby. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to be very kind of like colorful after this video. Uh, there's going to be a lot of products to test out. So this is the shade that we have here. This is like a lip gloss, right? Oh, it smells nice. It does smell really nice. Hmm, that's interesting. The color is actually really pretty, uh, very kind of wearable, very useful, so I like it. And I do believe this is a full-size product, isn't it? Day number three. Oh wow, I really love this shade, look at that. So this is Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color in shade devoted to chili. I have a lipstick in that uh, shade and I love it. This is probably one of my favorite colors from MAC. I mean, I generally really like uh, MAC lipsticks, but oh, this shade is so beautiful. So it will be really nice to have this color, but in a different formula this time. It also feels very kind of like velvety on my skin, quite a pleasant feeling. It doesn't really seem too drying. So yeah, ah, really nice. So that is definitely a very good start. Day number four. For a moment, I thought this uh, was going to be an eyeliner, but it's not. It's MAC Prep and Prime for your lips. So this is a lip primer and this is what it looks like. I like these things particularly when I want to wear kind of like a long-lasting color. They tend to be a little bit drying so it's always good to prime your lips with something first uh, that's going to like smooth your lips and like hydrate them. Day number five. So here we have a lip gloss but this one is clear. Uh, again something very useful. I actually really like my lips to be a little bit like shiny so even when I use like matte lipstick quite often I would just apply a little bit of like a lip gloss just to make my lip color look a little bit more like multi-dimensional uh, so we have that and this is 15 mil so definitely I mean it must be a full size I can't really imagine a lip product being bigger than that day number six and here we have an eyeliner so this is brush black brush stroke 24 hour liner and this is what it looks like so this is the tip uh, to be honest, I use uh, liquid liners like on a daily basis almost, so that's definitely something I'm going to use up. I'm not a massive fan of getting uh, like uh, black um, eye pencils because I don't really use them, uh, but uh, black liquid liner is fine. Okay, day number seven. Okay, so it seems like we have uh, an eye pencil, but it's not black, so that's good. So this is a MAC Color Excess Sterling Shiva Gel Pencil Eyeliner. So this is... Oh, this is the shade. I hope you can see that. So it's over here. A very nice formula, kind of like soft and buttery. And this is going to be perfect to create more kind of like a graphic eyeliner look. Um, I like it. I like it. I even like the fact that it's silver because I don't think I have an eyeliner in this particular shade. Okay, day number eight. So we have our first lipstick and this one is in shade All Fired Up retro matte lipstick and i'm pretty sure i don't have this color so very exciting so this is like this classic red with some cooler undertones very pretty uh the formula seems nice it does smell really nice but i think all the mac lipsticks actually smell nice so yeah that's actually a really cool thing about these products day number nine so here we have a little mirror so here's the thing i don't really mind getting mirrors and having calendars but i think this is the third or fourth mirror this year i mean obviously it's my choice to buy so many having calendars and i shouldn't really be complaining but at the same time 
I just it's very difficult to get like excited about like a third or fourth mirror in a row. Anyway, as far as the accessories go, this is the one that probably makes quite a lot of sense in the in the makeup um, advent calendar, right? Okay, day number ten. So here we have another lipstick, and this one is in shade Runway Hit, uh, and this is also retro matte lipstick, and uh, again a shade I don't have yet. I mean, my Mac uh, lipstick collection is going to be massive after this unboxing. It seems like so. There you go. This is the shade uh i think it's really nice very kind of wearable uh, pinky nude so yeah i like it uh and i'm glad it's a full-size product not like one of those minis day number 11 so this is satin taupe frost eyeshadow and uh, this is what it looks like i'm obviously going to open it and like swatch it for you it's like a very kind of cool toned brown shade that is actually really pretty. I really like this shade. Um, the formula is actually really nice too. Uh, I personally don't use that much of like single eyeshadows. I kind of prefer to have them in like a palette, but uh, yeah, I mean, I hope I'll be able to kind of incorporate this shade into my makeup looks because I really like the look of it. Day number 12 down here. So here we have Art Thera Peachy Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And uh, this is what it looks like. And this is the shade. To be honest, I have never tried this product and judging by the shade of it, uh, I kind of assumed this was going to be like a, a blush, but I was wrong. I did check and this is an eyeshadow kind of like primer or cream eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. We have this kind of like a peachy shade and look at that. It doesn't really seem to smudge at all. So it's definitely going to be great as a primer or as a kind of like a base color with your eye makeup look. So that's actually very exciting, uh, particularly because I've never tried this product before. Day number 13. Okay, so here we have some skincare. This is MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm Moisturizing Cream. I've never actually tried any skincare from MAC, so it will be like really nice to test something new. Formulated with Pro for Power Infusion Matrix, Japanese Peony Extract, Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid, and Ceramide. Day number 14. So here we have another lip product, and this is MAC Lip Glass in shade Love Child. I'm just going to swatch it next to the other uh, colored lip gloss so that you can see. Oh, that one is actually really pretty. Oh, this one is actually really beautiful. This is the shade over here. It's like this dusky pink uh, with some kind of like golden shimmer inside. It is beautiful. Day number 15. Oh, okay. So we have a lip pencil. This one is in shade Sar. So that is the shade. I'm obviously going to swatch it for you because why not? So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a little bit like darker, but I really like this shade. I think it's very wearable and I'm glad it's not like red or nude, you know, uh, something a little bit different. Day number 16. So here we have another lipstick and this one is, I think, different formula. So this is C Sheer Luster Glass Lipstick. This is the shade. Uh, again, a very wearable, pretty shade. I feel like this year MAC has done a really good job on this advent calendar. So this is the shade that we have. The formula, as you can see, is a little bit different. It's a little bit more sheer. Uh, it's a little bit more like hydrating, more like a lip balm than a proper lipstick, but it is really pretty. Day number 17. Ooh, what is this? Look at that. So this is Spice World Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. So this is like a lipstick, but in a little bit different form. So it's this color over here. I really like the selection of shades. The formula seems like something uh, between those kind of classic lipsticks and this uh, sheer lipstick. It is quite creamy. It's not as sheer as this one over here, but at the same time, it doesn't really have as much coverage as those kind of powder matte lipsticks. But it's actually really nice to discover like different formulas of MAC products. Day number 18. So here we have another eyeshadow. This is satin eyeshadow in shade Brun. And obviously I'm just going to show you the color. This is the shade. So this is the swatch here. As you can see, it's like a very matte kind of ashy brown. Uh, that's how I would describe it. So as you can see, these two shades are actually quite different. This one has this metallic, almost like finish. And uh, it also has almost like this purplish kind of undertone. Uh, also, this one seems a little bit drier as far as formula goes. Uh, but I mean, it still has a nice pigmentation and everything. It's just a little bit on the drier side. Day number 19. So judging by the shape, I thought it was going to be another lipstick, but it's not. It's another uh, skincare product. This is MAC Hyper Real Serum Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. So 
this is what it looks like and this is four mils so a little kind of like a sample to try out formulated with pro 4 power infusion matrix so it's the same ingredients we have japanese peony extract niacinamide hyaluronic acid and ceramides day number 20 and here we have another lipstick so this is a luster glass lipstick in shade syrup and i just realized that this is the first lipstick in this advent calendar i already own. Uh, this is of a swatch. It's like this very beautiful naturally looking shade and I really like this uh, sheer kind of finish to it. Day 21. So here we have another lip liner and this one is in shade Whirl and this is another like the second repeat product in this loving calendar for me which I mean, I think it's not bad, right? I mean, we have 24 products, we're on day number 21. I have lots of MAC products, like mostly MAC lipsticks in my collection, and this is only the second product that is a repeat. So it's this shade over here. So the Wear Lip Liner has more like brown undertones in it, whereas the other one has a little bit more like redness in it. So that's where it differs mostly. And we're moving on to our day number 22. Okay, so here we have another MAC Color Excess Gel Pencil Eyeliner, and this one is in shade Ritzed and Blitzed. I can't tell uh, from this perspective whether camera will catch these shades. Uh, I swatched this one under the silver one, um, and this is just kind of like a muted rose gold shade. It's really pretty. Uh, so definitely something I will use quite a lot. I think the silvery one will actually show up on my skin tone a little bit better, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a way to use this one as well. Then Day number 23, we're almost at the end of the seven calendar. Okay, so this is Teddy 2.0 and I do have a Teddy lipstick, but let me grab mine. Okay guys, I feel like I got completely confused for a moment. So this is Teddy 2.0, the lipstick I've got is Velvet Teddy. Close, but not exactly the same. Also, this Teddy 2.0 is in Powder Kiss uh, formula, and this one is in Matte formula. So in case you're wondering how similar or different these shades are, there you have a little comparison. Let me just show you. So this one here is Teddy 2.0 from the Advent Calendar. This here is uh, Velvet Teddy. So these are both nude shades, but they are not that similar to be honest, and the formula is going to be a little bit different. So let me just uh, swatch this Teddy 2.0. And this is the shade. Okay, so I think we reached our last drawer, which is day number 24. And here we have another eyeshadow. This is my Tweedy Powder Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadow. So I'm just going to swatch it here so that you can compare this to the other eyeshadow. So this is the shade my Tweedy. So here you have the other two single eyeshadows and this is the paint pot. Do you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I think you could create a nice uh, look using those four eyeshadows together. So uh, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me that they actually like thought it through and they just didn't give us like some random colors but some kind of like colors that will go together. Okay so this is the MAC uh, Advent Calendar for 2023 fully unboxed. Mm, what do you guys think? I'm actually really happy with the contents of this advent calendar. First of all, the sizes are great. I think all the makeup products were actually full sizes, which is great. We did not have any minis. I mean, we did have a couple of minis, but these were like, for example, new skincare products, which... Uh, uh, I mean, it's something new to try, it's something new to test. I kind of get why these products are here, they're trying to promote the like, skincare brand, fine. The sizes, I mean, especially the serum is not particularly exciting, but considering the fact that pretty much almost like everything in this oven calendar is full sized, I don't really mind a couple of like minis or travel sizes here. Uh, probably the most disappointing product for me would be the mirror. I mean, as I said, it is quite useful, uh, but... Um, it's just like a very kind of simple mirror and as we established already I have um, a few from the other advent calendar so yeah I'm not particularly excited about this one but it doesn't really change the fact that everything else is actually really good and there were only two repeats for me which I can't really believe for some reason I was convinced that there will be like many more products uh, that I already own I think that Teddy one confused me a little bit but like luckily it's like a completely different shade and a different formula so that is amazing so anyway guys uh, I'm actually really happy with this advent calendar but I would love to know your thoughts about it. Thank you very much for watching. For more advent calendar unboxings, check the ones over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.